My name is Khaled Mzena and I am the project coordinator at Tashkil. The Artists in Residence program is a collaboration between um, Art Dubai, the Delfina Foundation, Dubai Culture Arts Authority, and us, Tashkil. It's about the philosophy of you know, having this cultural exchange and bringing international emerging artists uh, here you know, to, to communicate with uh, Emirati artists and uh, just have this exchange and uh, create work. The residency this year is a bit bigger. We have more artists in comparison to last year. And we have a curator in residence, Alexandra Makla. I got involved with the project because I applied to uh, an open call that was put out looking for a curator in residence. I was lucky enough to be um, selected and invited to come to Dubai and join the six artists. The international artists are Faisal from uh, France. Uh, we have Denise Ooster, uh, who's Turkish but is based in Scotland. And uh, we have Megdi Mustafa from Egypt. And the Emirati artists are Hadiya Badri, uh, Nasser Nasrallah, and Zainab Al Hashmi. The international artists have commissioned projects for Art Dubai as well. And uh, each artist obviously will be showcasing at the Sika Art Fair. Sika Art Fair is, a, is a, an exciting initiative to support young Emirati talent and um, they've had an uh, um, a amazing panel, including Rami Farouk, to select the artists and kind of support them in producing their projects in um, spaces around Bastikia. Bastikia is special because it's like the historical area and there's history to it, and it's one of the rare places in Dubai. But we thought it would be a good idea for the artists to settle here and work here because it's a different feel. The international artists stay at Bastikia. Emiratis uh, stay in their own home. Each artist has an individual studio space in uh, house number 11. That's where they work and where they will showcase as well. My name is Zainab Matrouk Nasser Al Hashimi. I'm a visual artist. I usually look for elements that were in the past but still exist in our present and will exist in our future. I redesign them or represent them in a new way. My project in the Art in Residence is called Prayer on a Wheel. It's going to be uh, the Hath Gari which is an Urdu name to the hand borrow trolley. Back in the days when I used to go to my grandfather's house, which was in the middle of the souk, I would see these men carrying the fabrics and textile on those trolleys. Then again, at the afternoon time, you would see them just laying and napping on them. I remember this exact scene until now. Denise Uster is working in Tashkil almost every day because she's very hands-on and she needs equipment. So we facilitate that at Tashkil for her. such an amazing feeling when you're making stuff. So now I just got so fascinated with the material itself, like any material. That's why I can't say that, you know, I make wood sculptures or metal sculptures. I use any material.
I love working with materials because you never know what will happen at the end and I quite like being directed by them. I'm quite an obsessive character, that's why there was no way for me to come here without having an idea. I planned to do three towers when I heard about where we're going to be based on, when I saw the wind catches for the first time. So I thought, what if I change the function of those wind catches, which is like, you know, taking the breeze and funneling into it. What if I make it some sort of disseminating monument and it wouldn't bring something in, but it would just completely spread out? I'm hearing aircraft, the birds, uh, the wind, the leaves of the tree moving with the wind, the cricks of the branches of the trees. Faisal hitting the keyboard, writing emails. My name is Maggie Mustafa, and I'm always listening to sound. Sometimes I get disturbed, sometimes I get very, very happy. I just try to listen and to observe, and I feel record and build something. I have been always interested in listening to things since I was very young. Sometimes I was just jumping inside the vacuum of the washing machine while it's empty and listening to the conversation in the house when I was maybe seven years old. I didn't come here with a plan, not for Art Dubai, not for Sikka. I just left myself to intersect with the circumstances and the ambient of, the, of this city. دائما <laughs> فعلا يمكن تكون فترة الطفولة اللي هي فترة الثمانينات مثلا التليفون القديم اللي في المدور حاولت أسوي مجموعة آلات عديمة الفائدة فيها يعني هو كيوب خشب سبعة عددهم سبعة وعليهم الأبجكت هاي من من مجالات مختلفة هو في البداية كان عندي يعني مشروع يف في بالي يوزلس ماشينز والستوري كونفرتر طبعا هي مثل ما تقول تراكمات لأشياء كنت أنا أفكر فيها في السابق دمجتها مع بعض وطورتها وكذا لي ما طلعت الفكرتين هذيل I think when you photograph it's important to have an aesthetic intention could be something maybe very mundane and something we would probably pass by and not pay any attention to. I'm very interested in what something looks in a photograph, being photographed, and how positioning myself with the world around me can create meaning. I will be showing works that were previously exhibited in an exhibition called Emirati Expressions. But uh, I will also show an extension to that project. The new series really uh, explores the mutual existence of man-made and natural landscapes. And in these photographs, you will notice 
uh, equal participation from both. So this is the middle. All right, this is fine. During the search for the symbolic, I noticed a garbage van covered with flowers, and I followed him. And I followed him, and I followed him, and then eventually I was able to stop him, took his number, and then the week later, uh, we were able to meet so that I can shoot. I think it's one of my favorites just because the way the natural landscape integrated with the imagery on the truck, it transcends from being this very straightforward photograph into something more symbolic. Bastikia is definitely the sort of eighth character in the residency. The architecture has played in again quite directly with um, Denise's project where she's um, been inspired by these iconic wind towers um, and she's actually incorporated that form into her work. The title of my work is Somewhere in the Middle of Two, Southwest of One and North of the Other. It is actually three kineticized wind catches. I dedicated each tower to each city. I know the best. Glasgow Tower is a combination of a live tree, which you can't see at the minute, um, growing throughout uh, a car tire, and an expanding foam cloud continuously rains on it. So that's what, what Glasgow means to me. This is Istanbul Tower, and it is a kineticized coffee mixing machine. There will be kilos and kilos of coffee in it. So it's actually a completely dysfunctional machine, just produced to release the smell, really. This is Dubai Tower. It is basically a crane raising from a desert full of cars uh, attached to a drum beater. So in a very meditative way, it, it continuously plays the drum. Istanbul Tower spreads smell. Glasgow Tower spreads humidity, and the Dubai Tower will be the sound pit. This was the land of my grandfather's house. And um, I remember exactly how we used to just step outside the door and see all of these uh, fabric shops with the trolley and the trolley man standing next to them. There is a lot of changes, but yet it still feels the same. I haven't been here for the past 10 years. It has a lot of memories, good memories, definitely. And... Uh, makes me miss my grandparents a lot. May they rest in peace. Yeah, but uh, it's part of my history, and now it's, it's part of my present again. This is uh, Mina Bazar. It's located in Bar Dubai, which is, I call it, the old part of Dubai where uh, most of the textile and uh, fabric business is here. Um, here are the hand barrow trolleys, as you can see. Um, lots of them. <laughs> they are very much used and very old. It's like a vintage piece. I was inspired here. I mean, this is where I said, okay, I really would want one of those. Mag D has been making field recordings of sounds from Bastikia, um, ranging from the prosaic, such as our kettle boiling in the kitchen, to the kind of more poetic sort of bird song, which you hear everywhere. And um, kind of strange, whereas, you know, there's this weekly fireworks that are part of the shopping festival that he's also recorded from within the depths of the well in his studio. So it's quite deep, no? We have 
three speakers, eight meters underground, lying there. When I found this room, I felt very, very, very attracted and very, very happy. The functionality of the well is two major things. Uh, it's one, it's creating the natural echo for the room that I work with. Uh, and this is very important for me. So I, I tried to use it as a visual element uh, and also as a uh, natural amplifier for my low frequencies. I've been in this room like for more than a month now. I'm trying to investigate this 10 meters by five meters. I think every city has a, like a acoustic fingerprint. I guess it's completely different fingerprint between Cairo and Dubai. Maybe they could be a little bit similar in just two areas. This is one. <laughs> and the other one, I guess in New Cairo, we have a New Cairo that is growing in the desert. And I guess it's similar ambient to Dubai because they have the huge buildings, clean uh, district, uh, and the sand, and the wind, but this is quite small. Now I have to stop. <laughs> Are you rolling? Yeah. Faisal, go. Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Faisal Bahrish. I'm making a project about uh, censorship. This moment where I'm censored, I mean half censored, is quite uh, making sense with my project. I'm presenting uh, works about uh, the way that uh, magazines are censored in um, Muslim countries. The purpose is not really to, uh, to show that this country have a censorship. The purpose is to see how this act, how this action can give an other value to the work. What interested me is what happened on this image. I bought uh, two same magazines from the same issue and I just took some photos, some images, and I just make a parallel between the two images. On this photo, you have a work uh, uh, made by uh, two artists who called uh, De Weer and Jekyll. On this sculpture you have two naked boys. And I find it really interesting to see how can you use your hand from left to right and after to right to left. So this, the gesture is not the same. It reveals the work, in fact. I was interested by this sort of process. project <laughs> هني راح يستخدمون الأشخاص يخلون إيديهم وراح يكون في مثل ورقة وقلم داخل يكتبون الأشياء وراح يعطوني الورقة طبعا ديزاين البوكس حاولت شوي يكون بشكل سحري يعني في في شوي غموض اللون الأسود الهاي مثل كأن الستائر في في غرفة سحرية بالنسبة لليوزلس ماشين هاي ألهمتني من خياط جنب الاستوديو اللي أشتغل عليه في الشارجة شفت حط لوح خشب ودق عليه مسامير وحط عليه خيوط هاي الماشين فيها جزء مثلا نحن نسميها الدحروي اللي هي من الخياطة القطعة اللي هني تستخدم في الكفر لمكان الخياطة في لمبة طالعة من من حنفية يعني تخيلتها كأنها آلة تنتج الأفكار الجزء هني اللي مستخدمنا من سماعة قديمة في الجويستيك مال الجيمينج في النهاية ما تعمل شيء لكن الموضوع كله تخيل So the green sort of fake grass carpet has been um, chosen by Sika to uh, sort of point out the buildings that are involved in their project to make it easier for people who don't know the area to sort of find the venues. Let's walk to the garbage bin that has similar color flowers as the van I took a photograph of. 
I'm trying to steal this. I'm going to try to steal this for the studio space. And I'm hoping that maybe there will be some sort of interaction with the garbage bin, aside from people throwing things in it, but maybe people will make a connection. I might need to clean the bin just a bit for the show. Denise is producing three towers. Two of them will be in uh, Art Dubai in Medina Jumeirah and one will be uh, in Bastikia outside House 11. We're waiting for the tower. <laughs> it's so stressful. Here it comes. Here comes the forklift. <laughs> This Bastakia t-shirt. So everything is Bastakia concepted today. My work, my clothes, my location. I want this bit to be front, which is facing here like that. I don't think I'm very much into the idea of being very serious yes. with the work, sort of almost patronizing, <laughs> sort of speaking about wow. big things. That's why I actually want my work to, um, especially the one in Sika, I want it to be almost part of the whole architecture and maybe inseparable from it. What I'm planning to do, or what I've been working on, is I've uh, collected these cardboard tubes. They are reused. I was able to find them in a couple of shops, and I'm turning them into a modular furniture or a modular design. It's going to look like cardboard mat, and then it can be turned into like a um, sunbed. Because again, those people, when they used to rest on the trolley, although it was in the middle of the day, they were asleep napping on it. What's nice about the Sika Art Fair is like each house turns into a small gallery for a temporary while. It morphs the space. Residency is very much about the process rather than the finished product. The sort of final exhibition at the Open Studios is in fact a kind of, you know, work in progress. It's showing what has been happening for the last two months. Every artist should be brave enough to try different materials. And mashallah, he and still lamsa al basma or identity, the Emirati identity, موجود still in his work. So mashallah, I'm so happy and proud of him. People just like interacting with different like art pieces, especially when they see that um, someone is actually like moving the object. It's very comfortable, actually. Thank you for coming tonight, and I'm very pleased to announce uh, Magdi Mustafa's um, sound element performance produced uh, during a uh, Dubai residency. Uh, 
That was hypnotizing in a way. For me, this is something that's new. It's the first time I experience it. So I'm absorbing it. And I'm actually going to have a one-day workshop with Magdi after our Dubai. A great thing about artisan residency program that's kind of like evolved to the local art scene, to many other, an extended family of, of people supporting, supporting the project. I think uh, it was great exchange. We lived in one house, so we've seen each other all day long and we got the chance to speak in the kitchen or speak everywhere. Since we started, the journey began. It, very much all of these meetings and hangouts, it all influenced and affected the final result. Actually, quite a lot of works maybe developed kind of really informally through this kind of cross-fertilization of ideas that happened. The artists were, you know, worked in the context of the residency was to think through kind of the, the projects they would realize, um, both here in Al Bastakia, but also at Art Dubai. Our Dubai always happens at Medina Jumeirah, so this year for the residency program, the Art Dubai have commissioned the international artists to produce commissioned work specifically for Art Dubai, which will be exhibited around the venue. For Art Dubai, uh, I built a structure behind me, the wooden sculpture, uh, which is a replica of these two answers burner that you can see behind the sculpture. If you arrive here and you look at the sculpture, you can think, oh, there's a third one that haven't finished yet. It's unfinished. And you can imagine that like in one week or two weeks, it will be finished and it will look like the two other ones. And that the idea that you have on your eye in Dubai when you see unfinished buildings, you see, you can make a projection of what is going to happen later. For the piece I'm doing in Art Dubai, I'm using the old design-based wheat mixers. I'm trying to bring back to life some outmoded technologies in sound and trying to recall some previous sound experiences. I can synchronize all of them together to build a sort of industrial orchestra. We fill those dates extract, which is really similar to thickness and color-wise to the petroleum. And it's also energy source. 